friends and welcome to another story time. My name is Harley and this is Dappy and today we're going to be reading a really cute and fun educational story called Dogfish Stands Up to Bullying written by Rita Reed. We had so much fun making this video for you guys so let's get right into it. Dogfish Stands Up to Bullying written by Rita Reed. Swimming up the Amazon River, Dogfish wagged his tail with glee excited to start his new school year at Rainforest Elementary. He arrived bright and early before class the first day, ready for new friends to laugh with, sing, and play. While swinging on the playground gleefully swaying up high, Dogfish heard a whimper that grew into a cry. He peeked around a corner, surprised when he saw, a beautiful pink dolphin curled into a tiny ball. Dolphin opened her eyes, tearful as she blinked. I'm tired of being teased just because I'm pink. Anaconda is a bully, so mean and oh so rude. He makes fun of my color, he has a bad attitude. Let's go tell a teacher or trusted adult. I'll help you with this problem, Dogfish said. Bully trouble can be very difficult. Mrs. Wiggleworm took roll call as they all settled down. I heard there was trouble today on the playground. It's important for me to know if anyone needs help. Sometimes problems are too hard to handle all by ourselves. Bullies have more power if they think no one knows. Would someone like to share? How about you in the back row? The small slimy snails slithered forward. We don't like being teased. They all peeped and squeaked. Anaconda is a big mean snake. He's older and not very nice. He bullies us while we play. The piranhas swam forward. Yes, something must be done. Their feelings rose up in bubbles. Anaconda should be kind to everyone. He says we look mean because of our sharp teeth. We're just little omnivores. We do eat meat, but we also love fruit, nuts, and seeds. We're doing our job in the river to keep things nice and clean. Mrs. Wiggleworm smiled. I'm glad you're speaking up and using your words. We all have feelings that need to be heard. At lunchtime, they decided to ask Anaconda to apologize, but when they found him, they were quite surprised. Anaconda was being bullied by Big Alligator, who was twice his size. I can't help it if I hiss, Anaconda cried. It's hard for me to say things right. Friends joined together in one voice. Please stop being mean and make a better choice. Big Alligator walked away. Together they were strong on that very first day. Mr. Catfish was visiting today. He was a wise and gentle soul. He gurgled and purred. Let's talk about words and how they make you feel inside. Words can make us happy, but can also make us cry. If someone makes you mad, count to 10 and take a rest. Then you can share your feelings with words you think are best. Anaconda slowly slithered to the front of the class. I'm so sorry. I was bullying you because it was done to me. Today you've all helped me learn to use kind words and stop being mean. Suddenly, Anaconda became brighter. His green began to shine. Everyone smiled wide. Stand up for others, think about your words, respect and include everyone. Stick with your friends, talk about your feelings, tell a trusted adult. It's easy to spread kindness by what we say and do. Respect one another, it all starts with you. The end. Wasn't that a great story? We loved it and we hope you loved it too. And if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. We'll see you in the next story time. Bye!